Greetings YouTube. This is my first ever YouTube video and I'm going to be talking about Children of Doom by Frank Herbert. So uh, it's a book three of a series I've been enjoying. Though uh, it was like two years ago since I've uh, Read a uh, book two, uh, Doom Messiah. So, anyways, uh, it was like uh, 2021. The uh, first Dune movie, Dune movie was uh, coming out, and uh, I wanted to get you know, want to get on the excitement behind it because I thought the trailers made it look really cool, and uh, so I decided to go read the book, and I. Thought the book was really good. I mean, it was dense, but it was really good. And, and I liked it so much. So I read book two, Dune Messiah, and that was great as well. And then after that, I just stopped. Only because Dune Messiah just felt like it had a very definite ending to the story. But they made more books. And uh, I've been hearing that uh, the other books by Frank Herbert are still pretty good. And so I finally decided to pick up uh, Children of Dune. Like right after seeing the uh, movie Dune Part 2. And I gotta say, I was not disappointed with it. So, uh, one thing I thought was pretty interesting about this uh, book was... Uh, the uh, center characters in the previous book, they're still in this one, the uh, the Atreides family. But uh, instead of like going against some sort of opposing force, they're pretty much kind of just going against themselves right now. And that's a pretty interesting approach. I mean, it's like... It's like uh, everyone has their own motivations and such. And uh, even though, even though all the characters are pretty much despicable, they are still somewhat sympathetic. Like if you ever, if you like a uh, Game of Thrones, it has a very similar vibe towards that. And uh, gosh, uh, what do we what do we have here? Um, let's see. Uh, um. I've always liked the writing of these books. Like, I, I can see how people get, can get turned off by it. Like, uh, Dune is very dense. And it, it is the kind of writing I don't really read that often. But I have to, like, kind of, like, adjust myself to uh, reading and such. Just because there's just a lot there and a lot to take in. Like, it may not be the hardest thing I read personally, but uh, probably... Not as casual friendly compared to like modern fantasy or sci-fi. Like there's just like lots of philosophy there. And it, I feel like with every single page, there's always some sort of quote that talks about like some just some sort of philosophical quote about something. And I Gotta be honest, I always think that's pretty neat. And uh, world building in these books are still pretty cool. And uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, after uh, going off of reading book two, which I thought had a definite ending, I was pretty happy to see that uh, there was more things to do. Just uh, more stuff for the characters to do. And uh, like there's more history about uh, the planet Dune that they're on. And, uh, and that some of these characters get some pretty wacky uh, psychic powers. And uh, and uh, I remember there's like a, this element toward the end that when it happens, I wasn't really sure what to make of it. But after like finishing up and thinking back on it, it's like, that feels okay. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but uh, at least to say, I, I thought it was pretty good, pretty fine. And uh, I actually... It's great. I've been letting it sit with me for like about a couple of weeks or so. I thought it was great. And one day I would like to sit down and read a book for God Emperor. So, yeah.